in this video, Alaska turns green and we see some lovely spring weather. And the flowers start to bloom and we enjoy lots of sunshine. We also continue working and experience a regular work week. We are me, you, and the boo. Good morning. It's another beautiful day at the McKinley Princess Lodge. It's actually kind of gray, but still pretty. Today I am doing Talkeetna shuttles. Jordan is in Anchorage, but he's on his way back. So he'll be back later today. So it's already another week in Alaska. I can't believe it. It's like the end of May almost. Time just flies. <sighs> anyway, time to get to the day. Pretty sure those are sandhill cranes that are making all that noise. <laughs> I thought they were here earlier, so they migrate from, I can't remember right now, but yeah, pretty cool. They must be headed, they sometimes are hanging around the Trapper Creek area. Just in between shuttles, hanging out with Kenai. Oh, Kenai, over here. We gotta clean up your backyard, huh? Yep, yeah, we'll do it. We'll get it all clean for you. Kenai, you like sitting outside, huh, bud? Hey. Why don't you look at me? Kenai. You good boy. You're a good dog. Good boy. <laughs> transfer so I got to see the train come in this is the first time I've gotten to see it this year so that's exciting so now I just hang out until the next shuttle Well, hello, boys. <coughs> Kenai, it's me. <laughs> Hi, bud. <laughs> hello. Me and Joy are going on a girls' trip. We just wanted to go to Anchorage, and Jordan's going to stay home with Kenai. And we got an Airbnb with a bathtub, so I can take a bath. Because <laughs> our showers are like three minutes long. But yeah, we're headed down there. You ready, Joy? I'm ready. We're going to go eat a good dinner, maybe go to a movie. Woohoo! Go, go to shopping. The, go shopping. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm excited. To those of you who don't know, this is my best friend, Joy. We've been friends since 2008. And yeah, she's our boss here in Alaska, too. Yeah, we've known each other for a long time. So you'll see her in a lot of these Alaska videos. Time to go shopping. I guess so. Yay. Now we're going to go eat at the best restaurant in Alaska, would you say? The 40 Knot Steak. Yeah.
that is really good. <laughs> you should try it. Okay, Joy, did you have a good day? Yes, it was a very good day. We spent a lot of money. <laughs> we only do this like once a summer. That's right. And so I feel like we come in here, well, we come in here and we get like supplied for the summer and then we get our shopping out and then yep. we're done. And we're done. Like. Yep. No more shopping. Joy, wa Joy wanted some new work shirts and we just have fun. Now we're headed back home. Well, we're going to stop at Walmart, but you guys don't need to see that. Okay, it's amazing how quickly a small space can turn into a disaster area. Hey, we're off today, so today is cleaning day. So I realized Jordan's doing something that might be interesting. So I'm gonna go, and he always forgets to film when he's doing stuff, so I'm gonna show what he's doing. What are you doing? I'm putting in an electric water heater, added in parts to our gas one. Yeah. So I'm currently draining our water heater. Here, let me come around. So it's always amazing our showers last like two minutes. Yeah, because there's so and much there's water. There's so much water that comes out of these things. Yeah. So you're putting in, what are you putting in again? It's a, a little anode that goes in and it makes an electric water heater and a gas water heater. So it's both. It's yeah. just a simple part you put in. Yeah, so we're not using so much propane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun. Fun. And Kenai's hanging out in his little house. How bad? And I am trying to clean up the inside a little bit, running into some storage space issues, <coughs> and we're both sick. <laughs> There's a cold going around. Everybody's getting sick. All right. Biggest thing is this jacket storage was really getting in the way. We actually have more people over than we thought, and so it's kind of annoying to not have anywhere to sit. Um, so I took that down and put it on the bathroom door so we can hang like our work jackets up. Doing laundry. Um, <sighs> yeah. Fun stuff. So I don't know if I've ever shown this, but underneath this bench is where we keep our laundry. So we usually have a big suitcase under here that is our laundry hamper, but we also store our extra overnight bags underneath there. It always gets worse before it gets better. Disaster. Don't mind the bathroom fan going. We're trying to get it a little bit fresher in here, but Jordan also replaced all of, a lot of the lights with these nice LED lights. And they like change, let's see, they change like brightness, they change color. Oh, they're so nice. So grateful for them. He replaced a couple of them. Okay, tell us about it. It's done. Yeah, so it's plugged in over there behind that mess. <laughs> but the water heater's underneath this bench under here. So what did you do? It's like a little machine. It's like that big. <laughs> it's a, a heating rod that goes yeah. to the side where the the drain plug is yeah and it heats the water in the tank it only yeah. uses like 400 watts of power so it's yeah. not too much yeah but it should make it so we don't have to use all our propane use our propane yeah yeah i should have got him underneath he had to squeeze underneath that little spot right there uh, i am not a small guy <laughs> funny but frustrating <laughs> hey kenai you don't want to keep working either i hear you I haven't even done that much. <laughs> uh, but I'm finding no motivation to finish what we need to do today. <laughs> so one thing I think I'm gonna do is fix this padding on the floor. These little ridges are really annoying because a bunch of dirt and stuff gets in them and it drives me crazy. So I vacuum like all the time, but it doesn't seem to matter. So what I'm gonna try to do is try to like cut it straight and then put it right up against the counter. And hopefully that will help a little bit with that. So that's another project I'm gonna do today. So the floor is way dirtier than I thought it was. <sighs> that is like one of the biggest things. I know Kenai, that is one of the biggest things that I hate about RV and travel trailer life is that the floors get dirty because usually RV parks are like gravel or grass or something. So it's really messy. I know Kenai, I know, I know, it's okay. I know. <sighs> So no matter what I do, we don't take, we keep, take our shoes off when we come in, but still so much dirt gets tracked in. Ugh. Look at all of that dirt. 
so much dirt. Ugh. Fun time. Okay, much better. Now there's no edge over there and I won't have those stupid little edges on that side to vacuum all the time. Hopefully that will help. It's time. <coughs> little worried because we lost one of the suction cups and I don't know how that's possible, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully it's still pretty sturdy. Okay, there's a bird seed. There's all sorts of little birds that fly around here, so hopefully, hopefully they'll come soon. So now it's time to put out all of our little flags and little flowers and stuff. Just maybe spring will come if I put out all this stuff. <laughs> so I found this stump over in the firewood pile and it's hollow inside. So I thought that we could plant flowers in it. So I've got some of these big rocks I'm going to put down in the bottom and put some soil in it and plant some cosmos in it. So I'm excited to see if it works. I wanted to get a small bag of planting soil yesterday, but this big thing was only 10 bucks. So I thought, well, I guess I'll just have to plant some flowers. I might get a bigger pot for the rest of these, so I might save them, but this is what I'm gonna plant in there. Pretty excited about it. These are some of my mom's favorites too, so hopefully it will turn out good. So I also got this cute little pinwheel at Target yesterday. My mom loves pinwheels and she also loves Cosmos, so thanks mom for my love of these two things. But doesn't it already feel so much more cheerful? I'm so excited. There it is. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Love it. Next, I'm gonna plant some marigolds in this pot, just cause I love them. I know they're functional too, but I really like the marigolds. So I'm gonna plant some here. These cute little flowers at the dollar store. I should probably speak louder. I got these cute little flowers at the dollar store, including that too. So. Look at how happy that is. I love it. <laughs> how cute is that? What do you think? There? I didn't realize they're all different. How cute is that? I have this like hummingbird. Jordan got me this last year, this owl. This flower and this cactus. Yes, we, I brought all these up from Utah. <laughs> So now I have to figure out where I can put them. Of course it's raining when I'm trying to do this. But now I want to create a nice back area. I might have to go in for a minute. A nice back area for us to put the other rug out, but also to put like our little canopy thing. And obviously we want to clean it up because there's like moose poop back here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. But I might have to go inside for a minute. That should be in frame. That should do. I always forget how big this rug is. It'd be nice to have an area back here too if you want. It's already popping up. Yeah, that would be nice if it's raining. We can still hang out outside. Okay, we're done. We put the lights out on the fence. Put out all the stuff out here. Honestly, I, I think it's a little much. <laughs> Once I got it all out, but oh well. May as well, right? to Denali. It's a pretty rainy and cloudy day today. I am just going to go <laughs> I'm just going to go take a restroom break and then they'll be calling us to the curb here in just a minute. No don't leave <laughs> this little boy I get to spend lunch with him but he was just gonna hop off the chair and he does He's like, what are you doing? He's looking at me so quizzically. Huh, bud? Just having some lunch of chips and dip and some leftover bread pudding from the 49th state. So exciting. Denali was good. It was a good ride back. Had a good time. Just got a break for a little bit and then I'm going to do a Talkeetna shuttle. So yeah, good day. 
I was not in the mood to go back to work today after a couple of days off, but now that I already did a run, now I'm back into the groove. Yeah. I just remember that I really like this job and I like being able to give people information about Alaska. It's fun. So yeah, that's what I am going to do. Finish lunch and then go to Chalkina. Hi. Lunch is over. I'm headed down to the curb to do the Chalkina show. This is 7177, one o'clock shuttle. I heard that, so I'll be looking, but I am pulling up to the really five. Hey, so I just helped a little bit with the train. You can hear it leaving right now. And then I am the 3.30 shuttle. It's about 2.45. So I've got a little time and then I'll be headed back up to the lodge. And the what sun came you out. Back? And the sun came Tell out. That Sarah. Someone's on the radio. Anyway, I'll be leaving soon. The sun came out. So I decided mm. to take Kenai for a little walk. He's right there. Yeah, it turned into a nice day. It's actually turned out like that almost every day. It starts out cloudy and then the sun comes out in the evening. It's kind of nice. We'll get used to it though. No, I never get my hopes up because I always just expect rain every day. <laughs> anyway, so end of the day. Good morning. Today, me and Jordan are both going to Denali. So it should be fun. Enjoy going to come and check on Kenai while we're there. So we're grateful for her for doing that. Yeah, so it should be a fun day. We're in Denali together. It it's never happens. <laughs> Gal, how many years ago was it that we came here together? 22. 2022. It's been a while. I guess it's only been a couple of years. No, I mean as drivers. Oh, together 2015. Wow. A long time ago. Okay, so we just finished lunch. Now I may be, be using my lift for a guest. So the lifts are used for anybody in a wheelchair that can't walk upstairs. So right now I'm moving seats so that I can prepare for someone who might need it. Um, sometimes we're not 100% sure if they're going to need it, but luckily I won't need these seats anyway because I'm not going to be completely full. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Jordan actually has to do the same thing, so that's what he's working on too. Okay. I think I need to move one extra row. So there's these spots on the floor where you put clamps that have like ropes, not ropes, they're like uh, kind of little hooks that hook onto this, the wheelchair. I think I need to move one other row, so I'll do that. All right, we are done for the day. Well, technically we're back from Denali. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> but we have to do the guest shuttle break, which is fine. And we'll do dinner. So now I'm just post stripping, checking the inside of the coach. Ooh, good day. Okay. We're about to do the guest shuttle dinner breaks. So we're just out here waiting, trying to cool off from moving all those seats. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it was a lot of work. All right. We'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, I know I said we were done for the day, but we got home and Kenai's been home all day. So I thought I'd not be lazy. And I would, I'm just checking to see if I see anything. I'm hearing noises. And the horse drawn wagon tour is walking by so you can hear the horse's hoofs. Anyway, so I thought I wouldn't be lazy. 
take little Kenai for a little walk. Look at all of these fiddleheads. More over here. Spring is here if the fiddleheads are coming in. Pretty cool. So the fiddlehead ferns turn into these big like Jurassic Park looking ferns in the summer. When they're first coming out, they look like the head of a fiddle. So that's of course why they're called fiddleheads. But a lot of the locals actually use them they eat them, but if you cut them right at the earliest stages, right as they're start, starting to curl up, and a lot of locals will put them in salads or they'll cook them up with garlic and butter and they're really good. So kind of a local thing that people do up here. So that stuff that's on that tree that I just made a video of, they call it old man's beard up here. I know there's some official scientific name, but I don't know what it is. But I also learned that that stuff does not actually harm the tree. What it does is it just kind of sits on it and it is actually a sign that the air is really good because it grows based on the stuff in the air. So pretty neat that we know we have really nice clean air up here. And you can definitely tell when you're here, it's just so fresh. Yeah, fun little walk. I, I gotta make sure I do this every day. Some days after work, I'd rather just sit in bed, but I need to make sure that me and Kenai and myself and Jordan at least come up here, not even here, just go for a walk once a day. Gas shuttle morning. Okay. Next, Next day. day. Going to the train. And it's a perfect sunny day again. A really nice day. Yeah, so nice. Si exciting day. next day is done we're home you probably can't see him because it's so dark there's the baby we're home now so oh ready to be done so glad to be home
morning it's another really pretty day up here at the McKinley Lodge it looks like the mountain is out again I feel like it's been out almost every single day we've been up here which is pretty miraculous it doesn't usually happen this way so I'm taking it I'm so grateful it's so nice anyway it's another day I am headed to Denali Jordan's doing Talkeetna today so yeah it's about time to go to work She doesn't know I can see him. Waiting for Kenai to go to the bathroom is a very strenuous process. Here we are at Denali again. Oh, it's a pretty day. Fun day, fun group. Pretty crowded inside, so I'm gonna eat outside. It's a nice day. Hello, future Kiara here. I don't know why we keep just like not ending the videos, but uh, that week is over. <laughs> and we had a good week, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.